Welcome back to ISF. Investing in our children doesn't occur by happenstance. It requires nurture, provision, and empowerment, and that's Sagemont Prep's school mission. Joining us today is head of school, Mel Nelson, and student Alexa Francis to share the school's personalized approach and how it's changing the game for students here in South Florida. Both of you, welcome to ISF. Ah, thank, thank you, Jason. You. Pleasure to be here. And how are you? I'm wonderful. Beautiful to have you both in studio. Mel, what is the school's mission? Oh my goodness. Our why, the reason why we exist, is really to empower students to innovate for tomorrow. And at the end of the day, um, what we always think about is where do we want to see our kids? And entrepreneurship is an element that is embedded for us from our kindergarten or preschool, kindergarten, all the way through 12th grade. And so Alexa came with me today because she is an amazing part of that entrepreneurship and innovation at Sage Mount Prep. You are president and manager of Pride Rock, the cafe yes. at, <laughs> at Sage Mount, which is really a, an anchor on campus. They say yeah. at Sagemont, no day is the same, right Alexa? No, <laughs> oh, definitely not. How so? Why not? Yeah, so every day is definitely something different. Uh, keeps me on my toes. So if it's not in the cafe, it's like out, maybe somebody's out and I have to scramble and find somebody to work. So it's definitely You're something busy. crazy. I am. So tell us a story about Pride Rock because you do so much for the students. Yes. Not only do you have the cafe, which is a great place for students to have a place of community yeah. to come. It's like um, friends, you know, Central yes, Perth. <laughs> We're going to Pride Rock to hang out, yes. free Wi-Fi. Gotta love that. But also you you give back in a way that's that's supporting the arts. You have Acoustic Thursdays, Drive-In Movies, all these really cool ideas. How was it, how was it born? So in 2016, we had a group of seniors come up with a business plan. They wanted to have their own cafe, so they pitched it to the office. They got a loan and they kind of started this cafe in a science classroom. And it's really grown into something. Um, now we do so many events. We collaborate with our clubs on campus, so the Culinary Club, we have middle schoolers like bringing in their culinary creations to show them off and we host many events in there and also our artists they actually sell their art on the back of our walls so you know all Pretty of our cool. entrepreneurs collaborate here in Pride Rock a lot of different things going on for yourself <laughs> what is the most exciting thing about being being such a leader there oh my goodness I, I'll tell you I'll give an example and I think that will say it all this past Wednesday we had our kindergarten kids um, attend go to Pride Rock and their ki our kinder uh, yeah! preneurs, and so they're, they're kinder preneurs? Kinder preneurs, so adorable. and they're doing their kinder march coming up very soon so they all have to actually pitch a business plan and they have to have it come to life and so they came up they uh, met with Alex and her team and they pitched their business ideas and got feedback. So they could then go back to their classrooms and go, okay, what do we need to adjust for our business? So for me, it's just seeing, it's that, like you said, that ecosystem and the kids teaching each other, learning from each other and growing. Mel, Alexa, thank you so much for your time with us today on ISF. Thank you, uh, thank you so much, I appreciate it.